morning everybody so I've never been one of those to uh, do the uh, video yourself driving down the road trick and uh, I'm sure you're all wondering why in the heck I'd be doing that so here's the deal I have uh, started on a new project and I thought I would just post a video up just to tell you guys what I'm up to because I don't think I'm gonna be able to shoot much video of it and I'm I probably won't have as much stuff that I'm going to be putting up on here anytime soon. But So anyways, I have got um, hired back in for a project. So I worked, oh, let's see here, about seven years ago for a year for uh, DeWind One Pass Trenching. Um, and you can go look up their website. It's really interesting. I might try to add a link to this video because it, it's a pretty cool operation. Anyway, they build and operate the largest deep trenching machines in the world. Um, you'll find videos on the internet claiming to have bigger machines. They're baloney, like DeWind's is built in the biggest ones out there. So anyways, about seven years ago, I worked for them for a year and helped build uh, what was called the MT3500, which at the time was the largest one in the world. It was uh, 3,500 horsepower, six engines, and was designed to go, give or take 10, 20 feet, about 100 foot deep. Since then, they've built a larger machine, the MT4500, and uh, they have, uh, if you go, uh, Becky DeWind has on uh, her uh, YouTube page, I'll, uh, and I'll try and link to that, because she's got a YouTube channel and uh, puts up some videos of the trenching they do and stuff. It's very interesting. I'm sure all of you would find it intriguing. So anyways, they built the MT4500. Well, now they're wanting to build another one, and they've asked me to come back there and help work on. I mean, it's, um, as you can imagine, it, it just immensely complicated. There's huge gearboxes and chain cases, and because of the combination of uh, machining and mechanicing background I've got, it's something I'm fairly well suited to doing. You know, as I can get fits on bearings and clearances set right, and then if things aren't right, you know, just as a for instance, I'm going through parts right now, measuring and comparing stuff with a print. Just yesterday, I found a whole set of gears that was supposed to have been bored to four inches, and they were bored to 4.025 somebody mismeasured a micrometer is undoubtedly what happened. I mean, that's exactly one line off on a micrometer. So anyways, long and short of all of that is that I'm supposed to spend three days a week for what we don't really know. They'd like to see it done in six months. I think that's a little optimistic, but we'll see how it goes. But somewhere between six months and a year, I'm going to be there putting a trencher together. And I don't think I'll be shooting any videos. A lot of this stuff is very proprietary. There's a lot of competitors out there that would love to build these things and beat them at the game. And I don't think they'd be uh, that enthusiastic about me shooting video and uploading it to YouTube. I would say we get the machine put together. Um, I'll probably shoot some video of it assembled just because you can find plenty of video out there. But I'm afraid I won't be shooting you video footage of uh, the internals of one of these machines. But anyways, I just want to let you know that's what I'm up to nowadays. Um, you'll still be seeing some other content because I told them I'd only give them three days a week so I could keep doing a lot of the other projects that I uh, normally am shooting videos of just because my other customers don't want me to drop off the face of the earth. But... Uh, Anyway, so pretty cool stuff. I just won't have as much to show you guys. And uh, if there's stuff along the way that they're comfortable with uh, me showing video of, I definitely will. But that's what I'm up to. So this machine uh, is another MT4500, which uh, nominally, I believe, was intended to go 120 foot deep. Uh, rumors I've heard is the first job this machine is supposed to be going to, I think I heard 140 foot deep in one pass. So... It'll be taxing the outer limits of that machine. There's no doubt about it. So anyways, but that's the uh, long and short of it. I'll, uh, if I got stuff I can share, I'll be back and uh, show you guys what's happening. But that's so why you're getting a video from the car though as I'm on my way up there this morning. I put two days in already. This will be my third day. I'm just kind of getting acclimated and then uh, we'll be diving in with both feet. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.